May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. January 7, 2024 The Epiphany of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah Rise up to be illuminated, O Jerusalem! For your light has arrived, and the glory of the Lord has risen over you. For behold, darkness will cover the earth, and thick darkness will cover the peoples. Then the Lord will rise above you, and his glory will be seen in you. And the nations will walk in your light, and the kings will walk by the splendor of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. All these have been gathered together, they have arrived before you. Your sons will arrive from far away, and your daughters will rise up from your side. Then you will see, and you will overflow, and your heart will be amazed and expanded. When the multitude of the sea will have been converted to you, the strength of the nations will approach you. A multitude of camels will inundate you, the dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba will arrive, carrying gold and frankincense, and announcing praise to the Lord. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Give to the King thy judgment, O God, and to the king's son thy justice, to judge thy people with justice, and thy poor with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. In his days shall justice spring up, an abundance of peace, till the moon be taken sway. And he shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tharsis and the islands shall offer presents. The kings of the Arabians and of Saba shall bring gifts, and all kings of the earth shall adore him, all nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall deliver the poor from the mighty, and the needy that had no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and he shall save the souls of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, now certainly, you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which has been given to me among you, that, by means of revelation, the mystery was made known to me. In other generations, this was unknown to the sons of men, even as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in the Spirit, so that the Gentiles would be co-heirs, and of the same body, and partners together, by his promise in Christ Jesus, through the Gospel. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And so, when Jesus had been born in Bethlehem of Judah, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who was born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to adore him. Now King Herod, hearing this, was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. And gathering together all the leaders of the priests, and the scribes of the people, he consulted with them as to where the Christ would be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For from you shall go forth the ruler who shall guide my people Israel. Then Herod, quietly calling the Magi, diligently learned from them the time when the star appeared to them. And sending them into Bethlehem, he said, Go and diligently ask questions about the boy. And when you have found him, report back to me, so that I, too, 
may come and adore him. And when they had heard the king, they went away. And behold, the star that they had seen in the east went before them, even until, arriving, it stood still above the place where the child was. Then, seeing the star, they were gladdened by a very great joy. And entering the home, they found the boy with his mother Mary. And so, falling prostrate, they adored him. And opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having received a response in sleep that they should not return to Herod, they went back by another way to their own region. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What signs or moments in your life do you think might be God's way of calling you? Are you ready to respond and follow that call? When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. Matthew 2 verses 1-2 The Magi were most likely from Persia, modern-day Iran. They were men who regularly engaged in a study of the stars. They were not Jewish, but were most likely aware of the popular belief of the Jewish people that a king would be born who would save them. These Magi were called by God to encounter the Savior of the world. Interestingly, God used something very familiar to them as an instrument of their calling, the stars. It was among their belief that when someone of great importance was born, this birth was accompanied by a new star. So when they saw this new, bright and brilliant star, they were filled with curiosity and hope. One of the most significant aspects of this story is that they responded. God called them through the use of a star, and they chose to follow this sign, embarking on a long and arduous journey. God often uses those things most familiar to us that are part of our daily life to send forth his calling. Recall, for example, that many of the apostles were fishermen and Jesus used their occupation to call them, making them fishers of men. He especially used the miraculous catch of fish to clearly indicate to them that they had a new calling. In our own lives, God is constantly calling us to seek him out and worship him. He will often use some of the most ordinary parts of our lives to send forth that calling. How is he calling you? In what way is he sending you a star to follow? Many times when God speaks, we ignore his voice. We must learn from these magi and diligently respond when he calls. We must not hesitate and must seek to daily be attentive to the ways that God invites us to deeper trust, surrender, and worship. Reflect today upon God's call in your life. Are you listening? Are you responding? Are you ready and willing to abandon all else in life so as to serve his holy will? Seek him, wait on him, and respond. Doing so will be the best decision you ever make. Let us pray. Lord, I love you and pray that I will be open to your guiding hand in my life. May I always be attentive to the countless ways that you call to me, each and every day. And may I always respond to you with all my heart. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.